Hello again, this is Skip McCauley, Victor Echo 6 Bravo Golf Tangle, with another interesting video clip for you. When I built this dish a few years back, I knew it was going to be a, an issue on just how I was going to reach up to the feed position to install different feeds. With the feed mount being practically 16 feet in the air, uh, there's no way I was going to use a step ladder or any kind of an extension ladder to just lean up against the uh, feed arms and then carry up this large feed, say for 23 centimeters, and some of the other feeds I've built are close to 26 pounds heavy, I can see it just a disaster waiting to happen trying to use ladders. My earlier dishes were uh, simple to get at. You know, being a small TVRO dish, you tipped it down and uh, you could just stand on a step ladder to reach the feed arm. That wasn't the problem. The issue with my earlier dish was swapping out feeds. My first feed was a large septum for 23 centimeters. It's when I built my second one for 13 centimeters, I ran into the issue of how do you change out the feeds? There had to be a better way of doing it. So after pricing out scaffolds and large platforms with a step ladder arrangement, it was gonna cost over a thousand dollars to buy something to work like that. So I decided I can build something cheaper than that. I went out, bought a bunch of angle iron and other bits of steel and proceeded in building what I call my space elevator. I would calculated for me to reach the feed position comfortably, my feet was gonna to have to be at a 12 foot level above ground. I had lots of old winch motors laying around, so I uh, proceeded to build this frame up and the winch to haul, it, haul me up and down on it. It was also going to need some kind of a buggy or platform to winch me up and down in this framework. And um, had to be big enough for me to stand in and be able to haul feeds and tools and stuff up to the top. Finally, the moment of truth came. I drug the frame outside, stood it up, stood on the platform, and proceeded to winch myself to the top. It was a little scary at first, but it uh, panned out to be okay. So this is what it looked like when it was all finished. I put wheels on it so I could move it around. Uh, it becomes a very handy work platform to work on the dish itself. The original plan was to have it bolted to uh, poles in the ground, but I decided to just uh, have four guy wires just hold it in place. It's a lot steadier that way, probably a lot safer. So this is a video of uh, just how it all works. Um, the middle section of it, I'm going to speed up just to kill time here because it's rather slow moving the dish over to the elevator. This video is showing the dish moving at approximately 10 times the normal speed. The dish is already at zero degrees elevation, so that's as far down as it goes. And we're creeping up to almost to the elevator, and that should do it. How we going? So next is grab the large 23 centimeter feed, get on the platform, and get up to the top safely. The winch motor in this thing is rather noisy, uh, plus I think it's magnified by vibrating the steel angle iron. I'm sure the neighbors can hear me for miles. front here. Like I was saying, the uh, higher band frequency is just lighted from the back, but this one here is too large. You can see the square part of the mount. Slide her in. Put in these plastic holders.
dish over a little bit. surface area to hold a dish to feed in place plus it works for a slide okay now we've got pre-marked place to move her move her back a little bit first there's pre-marked spots on the dish feed for the focal point put them right there Clamp these down. Good. So next is the transmit line. It's going to go through here. Turn and connect. We'll see how she goes. Receive line, receive coax, cable, helix, whatever you want to call it. I'll give it a bit of snug up. And the control cable. One time I used to just uh, have individual wires on a terminal strip, but now I use these nice uh, quick disconnect uh, amphenol connectors. So I just go from here, click, and then underneath on the box, I usually do a loop here, and cable's long enough. There. And that's all there is. I usually put a plastic cover over it now, but uh, for now we'll just leave that all. And we'll... What else? That's about it. So that's how I get this big feed up here from the distance on the ground. I can never do this on a ladder. So with the feed installed, this is a different angle to view the feed being rotated away from the elevator. And I've also sped up the video to save time here. It's uh, going at five times normal speed. Once again, thanks for looking, and 73s.